Harvard's got a hip hop archive. Uh, Stanford has uh, archives as well. Um, a lot of the universities are, are incorporating it into the curriculum. And here we are tonight at the University of Arkansas talking about hip hop. So it's, it's changed a lot over the last you know, decade and a half, over the last three decades or so. Um, and it's not just, I think, a music, uh, musical movement anymore, not just about rap music, not just about even the four elements, you know, the emceeing, the DJing, the b-boying, and the graffiti. It's beyond that now, and I think it's moved into a cultural realm, it's moved into the social realm, it's even a nascent political movement. So we're going to be talking about all those kinds of things today uh, in the short time that we have together. But for me, the, the way that I can start talking about the influence is to talk about its influence on me. Because I was this kid that grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii, in the middle Pacific, on a little rock, little island. Um, and at 12 years old, I heard Rapper's Delight. And it just knocked me off my feet. You know, it was one of those things where every kid in school wanted to know all the lyrics uh, to Rapper's Delight at the time. And, and it kind of, you know, it kind of grew up uh, with me. So a few years later, you start seeing a whole bunch of movies, what are called the rap exploitation movies now, uh, or the break exploitation movies, Beat Street and Wild Style and uh, Style Wars, uh, Rappin', Breakin'. There were all these different kinds of movies that came out. And you got to see that it wasn't just about this rap thing. It was about a whole way of creating art for young kids uh, of color. And it was just an amazing type of thing. Uh, for me, I think, especially growing up in Hawaii, at that time you didn't see on TV a lot of images of folks of color, even in Hawaii. So to see kids in a city, you know, doing their own thing, not giving a damn about what anybody was thinking, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spin in my head now. You're going to stop me? And of course, later people tried to. At that time, it was just wide open. And so it got me kind of sprung and I got really into it. When I went to college, uh, I got involved in activism at the time. And this was a period in which the anti-apartheid movement is going on, the anti-racist movements were, were kind of starting up. There's a lot of progressive activity. Um, this is the Reagan Bush era, first Bush. And uh, so at that time you started hearing groups like Public Enemy coming out and MC Light and Queen Latifah and Boogie Down Productions. So, I felt like hip hop was kind of growing up with me at the time. When I look back on it, it wasn't just me. It was millions of kids that were kind of going through the same kind of thing. And at some point, I feel like uh, I woke up one day and I realized, you know what? This is not just something that's about, you know, what it is that I like to do at night, spin records, go to a club, um, hang out, and stuff like that. It's a lot bigger than that. It's determining Everything from, you know, what kind of shoes I wear to whether or not I decide to go out and vote. And it's doing that not just for me, but for a whole bunch of other folks. So Can't Stop, Won't Stop came out of this idea that hip hop was not just, again, a rap music thing. It was something that had shaped or was defining, in a lot of respects, a generation. And if you look at it now, hip hop is a thing that you can understand tangibly, right? Hip-hop is something that sells lots and lots of goods. It's part of the lifestyle economy now. It sells about $10 billion worth of goods, everything from McDonald's lunches to Scion cars, right? Marketers actually think that it's worth $550 billion, that that's the potential market um, for a hip-hop lifestyle economy, right? And there's also the intangible things that, are, that are, are there as well, the artistic stuff, the social movement stuff. Um, so when you really get down to it, uh, you can see a lot of things occurring within hip hop, within this movement, hip hop, that's speaking directly to um, what's happened over the last 30 years, politically and socially. And it's, it's explaining, I think, as well, how we've reacted to that. Um, so what I wanna try to do tonight is to talk a little bit about where we've come, going all the way back to before hip hop started to talk a little bit about that, talk about where we're at now, and talk about where we're gonna go. Is that gonna be all right with you all? Yeah? yeah.